What's going on Z Nation and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host Zaid here and today guys we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as concerns uh, Anthony Davis and potentially uh, landing with the Lakers uh, via visa trade and just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about the couple of updates that I've been hearing lately as it concerns to that and before anything like always please, please be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel share my videos all over Facebook Twitter all that good social media stuff and guys please make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys will know when I upload videos and give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about the Lakers and just basically uh, my thoughts really about what the Lakers have been up to as of late so um, please make sure to do that and subscribe and like this video and share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, as it concerns for uh, Anthony Davis uh, potentially landing with the Lakers uh, visa trade um, possibly this year or possibly the next, it still remains to be seen or maybe the off offseason. Um, there was a couple of reports came out, I believe yesterday, saying that, um, well first uh, the Pelicans, you know, reported saying that they have no interest in trading their superstar, uh, Anthony Davis, to any sort of team, even the Lakers. So it wasn't anything specific. It was just saying that they didn't want to trade Anthony Davis whatsoever. If they're, that's their star, and they want to make sure that they get enough enough um, weapons around him so he will commit to them possibly this year or possibly next year once he hits free agency in 2020 so um you know he just they, they just want to do whatever it takes to do that but all signs are showing guys that even though they're saying that it could potentially happen if somehow uh, nothing good comes their way and they just don't want to let anthony davis just walk out uh out of the Pelicans and just join a team in free agency in 2020. So there is a possibility that they might trade him. So, um, and a couple of teams are out there, you know, interest in him, you know, obviously the Lakers. And there's also the Celtics, which, by the way, guys, in true honesty, uh, the Celtics, even though I hate them no matter what, because, you know, being a Laker fan, uh, you know, you just you just have to hit the hate the Celtics. So it's just an obvious choice if you uh, want to pick between the Celtics and the Lakers. Obviously, you have to pick the Lakers. But uh, true honesty, guys, they do have good assets. Let's not lie about this, okay? They have draft picks. They have great talent players. I mean, uh, uh, the Tatum, and I believe there's another player. Um, Draymond Brown or something like that. I'm not so sure of, of his name, but uh, they have a, enough great talent. They they could possibly package a deal and get Anthony Davis. I mean, Marcus Smart. I mean that that guy is there too. So um, he's also a great point guard that I truly believe they might. Uh, the Celtics might, might probably give him a, a contract next season, or possibly he'll move on to possibly get a starting role. So. Um, he's a decent point guard, and also, you know, they just have a good uh, a good asset on their team to make a potential trade. But also, the Lakers, the Lakers has a good asset uh, on their team that they could really package a deal. Also, so let's not regard the Lakers that they don't have any talent. We have the best talent on the team, and I'm not trying to say that the Lakers should trade our young core. Obviously, I love our young core. But when it all comes down to it, if you want the Lakers to start winning games and potentially becoming, uh, you know, Lake Show again, you obviously need to trade somebody who would possibly help out LeBron James in the in these next couple of years with the Lakers and potentially his career that would potentially boost his chances for a championship and really bring the Lakers back to their glory days. So, um Obviously, you know, by trading for Anthony Davis, obviously our young core will be involved. Now, personally, I'm just going to put it out there. Kuzma, Josh Hart, and potentially Lonzo Ball, which I have has been, I've been impressed with him for these past couple of months now of his performance. And just basically since that pep talk and, you know, with the uh, great um, 
great interview with LeBron James raving about Lonzo and how great he is and he compares himself to himself uh, when he sees how Lonzo plays. It really boosted Lonzo's uh, capability and his emotions and and just being very aggressive in games to the point that, you know what, uh, Lonzo is a keeper if he keeps this sort of performance and uh, type of uh, momentum up. I mean, just last just last game against the uh, the Nets, uh, he averaged 22 points, which, you know, it was pretty impressive performance out of him. And I'm not trying to say he's going to average that uh, occasionally, but if he just averages about 15 points a game, I mean, obviously that's good in my book. I mean, for a type of point guard like him, uh, he he can just average that. That would just be perfect um, in my book. And obviously he's great on defense, uh, master at it. So obviously he's great at that and obviously you know playmaking you know at key moments when he passes the ball he knows how to do it at key moments so that's what's great about Lonzo and which we all most Laker fans uh appreciate from him and obviously that's one of the players that I would possibly say that you know what he's off limits but I honestly have to say you guys Brandon Ingram could be the type of player that could be moved for uh a trade somehow and um i heard from some uh somebody on uh, espn saying that um that if somehow i, I believe it, no i i believe it was hannah kuick on uh on her channel uh on youtube it's called hannah kuick she works for the lakers, lakers nation and uh obviously she gave good input and obviously she brought up the the uh the pelicans game which is on friday and obviously uh, there he's going to return alongside uh, with Rajon Rondo hopefully uh, and I believe this game will be potentially going to be an important game for uh, for Brandon Ingram to really co go out there and just you know play his greatest basketball that he can and obviously he might do that and obviously if he does he it will be kind of two things either one the Lakers will consider of keeping Brandon Ingram because they see some potential and promise in him or they will use him for a potential trade package for potentially landing somebody like Anthony Davis now guys if somehow they cannot pull off a trade I still believe that they should consider still trading Brandon Ingram um, maybe somebody like a Bradley Beal, which, by the way, guys, he is an all-star caliber player that, to be completely honest, he is somebody that the Lakers do need. He's a great shooter, and he brings that all-star mentality. And uh, alongside LeBron James, who is a superstar, he will definitely fit well with LeBron James and this young core that we have. And uh, honestly, he will be a tremendous help for uh, the Lakers if somehow Bradley Beal is dealt uh, in um, in the trade deadline for Brandon Ingram and possibly some other package deal that the Lakers would consider. Um, and, you know, honestly, guys, I think they will probably go that route, but I don't really consider that possibly happening. So um, it just remains to be seen. Let's just put that in our in our back pocket for a sort of plan B scenario. So if somehow the Lakers can't make a deal with uh, the Pelicans for Anthony Davis. Now, like I said, guys, you know, with Kuzma and Hart and Lonzo, uh, I truly believe that they should be off limits and the rest of the players on the uh, roster for the Lakers should be available. Now, obviously, they can't trade LeBron James because, you know, what's the point? I mean, we got him anyway for us to make a championship playoff run. So... Uh, I don't want to hear no more of the uh, scenario of trade LeBron James for Anthony Davis. That's not going to happen whatsoever. And Magic Johnson, is, he's probably laughing of the idea if they ever did that. So um, obviously that's not going to happen. And I just, I just know it's not going to happen. So anyway, with that, guys, uh, please comment down below. Give me your thoughts about um, what you guys think about 
Anthony Davis. Oh, which by the way, I had I forgot to bring up Anthony Davis, uh, how he feels about it. Because you know, we all heard about LeBron James saying that he would be very excited and he will welcome the idea of the Lakers trading for uh, Anthony Davis. And he welcomes that. And obviously with that, Anthony Davis spoke out about it and he felt flattered, but he basically said he doesn't really care. And obviously he's focused more on the Pelicans and, you know, for them to win games and put them uh, basically back on the Western Conference uh, conversation. Because, which, by the way, guys, last season they did reach the playoffs. So, um, which I still believe uh, they don't have a chance whatsoever this season. So, um, you know, with some implications and some, like, some needs that they need to uh, implicate on the team for them to possibly make a playoff run but I don't guarantee you guys it's not going to happen and even though Julius Randle is playing very well over there um, I can honestly say guys uh, they don't have a chance of possibly making the playoffs but it still may be seen I mean I'm not trying to doubt that that it's not going to happen because you know anything in the NBA um, team wise anything can happen uh, in a surprising moment so um still remains to be seen and obviously like I said Anthony Davis just put that out there that he felt flattered and interested but he is right now focused 100% on the Pelicans and uh you know putting them back on the map for potential uh playoff run but I don't really see that happening so um that's basically what I only have to say about uh Anthony Davis so far in the Lakers situation so uh guys please comment down below give me your thoughts about a trade scenario uh do you guys possibly think that you know the Pelicans will ask for two of our young core like most of you are probably thinking that they should trade Lonzo but I personally don't want it to happen because I'm a huge fan of so far what I've been seeing from Lonzo as of late and I guarantee you guys he is going to get better uh down the line and you know by probably next year who probably you know be on a different level to be honest and uh, obviously it's just his second year he's just getting to the type of rhythm that that he needs to get uh, as a uh, as a starter for the Los Angeles Lakers and you know uh, playing alongside LeBron will really help him uh, be that sort of leader that we all expect him to be and all I possibly really want from him is to just change his uh, jump shot there's no way to improve it. You just need to find a way to improve, to change his uh, uh, jump shot. That's all there is. And uh, if he just continues that driving to the basket and just really uh, being aggressive, uh, I can guarantee you guys that he will be a something special in this league, and especially for the Los Angeles Lakers. So, like I said, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. And like I said, uh, please, guys, hit that notification bell so you, get, so you guys know when I upload videos on YouTube. And obviously, I'm posting now on YouTube uh, about any sort of uh, uh, rumors and updates and speculations about any uh, sort of Lakers news on YouTube. Uh, I'm posting it on my community so you guys will, you guys can go to that and give me you guys your thoughts in my and your opinions about uh, anything Lakers regarding uh, trades and something like that. And guys, like I said, uh, please uh, comment about comment down below about anything that you guys think about the Lakers should do for Anthony Davis. Uh, you know, a, any sort of package deal, or do you guys think that there should be a Plan B, like possibly go out, going after uh, Bradley Beal, possibly, or if there's a player in mind that the Lakers should get that will tremendously help their chances for a playoff run um please comment down below give me your thoughts about it uh, i really appreciate your guys's opinions and thoughts about the lakers i mean it's just well respected i mean i appreciate your guys's uh, comments i mean it gives me some good insights and it gives me to thinking i mean maybe this person is right and i'm just saying the wrong things uh, uh guys this is just a conversation and talks and i really appreciate it and please comment down below like subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching go lakers peace